Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. My name's Dr. Sarah and in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing part three of the Thick Thighs Workout Series. We will be doing a 10 minute workout that you do not need any equipment for. You just need to listen to my instructions and follow along with me. We are going to build, sculpt and tone our thighs. Really get a bit of curve, a bit of definition, get them looking, feeling, fleeky, healthy, health goals is why we're here. If you like this video and you've been enjoying this series, please don't forget to send it to a friend, share it with a friend who you think will like it too, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know how you're getting on with the series um, and how you find this workout. And without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? Well, let's go. <laughs> ready? This is the first exercise that we're gonna do, wide leg squat to curtsy lunge. Um, so if you get in your positions, we will kick off and get going. Ready? And go. I want you to squat down into a wide leg squat and then uh, switch over into a curtsy lunge, alternating the side that you lunge on each time. Um, so as usual, you wanna make sure that all your weight is going through your heels, keeping the chest nice and high, making the movement slow and controlled. You wanna sit back, keep the chest up, sit back, weight through the heels, okay? You do not want your knees to fall inwards. Your knees should not fall inwards, and um, they should be just above your toes and not in front of your toes. Doing really well, just a few more. Well done, and relax. So we are working for 45 seconds and resting for 15. We're gonna go straight in after the rest to the next exercise, which are these pulse and power squat jumps. Are you ready? And we're gonna start, go. So I want you to start off pulsing for three and then explode into the most powerful squat jump that you can do. We are really activating those fast twitch fibers to really get some hypertrophy. So pulsing and exploding up. It might look a little funny, but it's a good one, okay? And when you land, I want you to be really careful to cushion that landing, weight through your heels, make sure you're wearing some decent trainers. Um, but be as explosive and as powerful as you can. You see the way that that I'm going outside of the camera frame. That's how high I want you to jump, really getting those hips up and through, really contracting the glutes as you explode up. Well done and relax for 15. That one might seem like just a little thing, but it will get your breath, so yeah. No apologies for that. Rest for a few seconds and we're going in with the single leg body raise. Come down onto your hands and feet and go. So supporting your upper body uh, with your arms and the weight just on the one leg. Again, all the weight through the heel. I want you to raise up your body using the hamstrings and the glutes to contract and get those hips up. Keep pulsing. This is a tricky one. It is intense. It is a great exercise. So keep lifting those hips up. Try not to let um, yourself move too far forward front and back. The only kind of movement that we want is through those hips coming through all the way up to the ceiling, really getting that nice contraction in the glutes and the hamstrings and relax. Well done, take 15 seconds and then we're going to come back and do the same exercise on the opposite legs because you know, got to keep both cheeks even as they say. <laughs> Ready? And let's go. Wait through the heel thrusting up, really contracting the glutes intentionally. You can adjust your hands to however it's comfortable. Just um, try and stay relaxed in the shoulders. Keeping that movement strictly in the hips. So bringing the hips up towards the ceiling, intentionally squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings. Weight through your heels. You can have a flat foot if you want, whatever's more comfortable. Keep going, you're doing really well, really building those thighs. Well done, just a few more, keep going. Contract, squeeze, and relax, well done. Then we are going to go into our next exercise, which are the frog leg hip thrusts. So remaining on the floor, you're gonna lie on your back, put your feet together and let your knees fall open and go. Really intentionally squeeze those glutes and push the hips up into the air. This is such a good exercise. It's really targeted for your glutes. 
Um, make sure that you're nice and controlled, relaxed in the shoulders. Make sure your core is tight. I do not want an arch in your lower back, okay? So your hips should be really um, coming through nice and high. Uh, try not to let your knees fall inward. So let your knees stay relaxed as though if someone kind of tapped your leg, it would wobble because you're focusing on contracting the glutes and really bringing those hips nice and through. Keep going, you're doing really well. Just a few more and relax. Okay, you can have a quick stretch. I love to stretch uh, between my exercises because we are going back to the first exercise, which was the wide leg squat to curtsy lunge. Are your legs jelly yet? No, well, they're about to be. Let's go. So I love this move. I really do. Lunges are just like low key everything when it comes to legs. And um, so, yeah, keeping that weight through the heels alternating side to side staying controlled do not rush this there's no rush okay it's better to get your technique right than to rush okay so if you need to slow down that's fine but keep going you can do this make sure you keep breathing deeply controlling that movement sitting back into the squat intentionally squeezing the glutes controlling as you come back for the curtsy lunge keeping the chest nice and high you're doing really well guys and relax and then we're going back in with the pulse and power squat jumps you want to give your everything on these okay i want you to jump as high as you can explosive think explosive like you're a jack in the box okay ready and go pulse for three and jump up as high as you can again there's no rush land comfortably cushion uh, your landing through your heels uh, really sitting back as you pulse and explosively jumping as high as you can, activating those fast twitch muscle fibers, really getting that full hypertrophy, intentionally contracting as you jump up, almost pushing your hips forward. That's why it looks kind of funny, okay? Because I'm really squeezing those glutes so much that I'm getting that full extension at the hip when I'm up in the air. One more. And relax, well done. Well done, shake it off, shake it off, and come down onto your hands and feet for the single leg body raise. So supporting your upper body in, through your hands, and let's go. Weight through your foot, uh, pivoting at the heel. You wanna really bring those hips up and through. Doing really well. Remember that mind to muscle connection makes a big difference. So, so intentionally squeeze that glute, squeeze those hamstrings, bring the hips up. Make sure that that movement is just up and down. I don't want your body moving forward or backwards or side to side. It's just up and down with those hips. It's intense, it's tough, but you are strong enough and you can do this and you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. Doing really well. Keep going, don't give up. We're gonna get those goals. And relax, you can stretch your lower back. Oh, I love a good stretch. Just stretch wherever you know, wherever you feel like you need it. Um, and then, not for too long though, <laughs> not yet. Uh, Cause we're coming back in on the other leg. Ready and go. Wait through that heel. Just keeping that movement in the hips being intentional, coming up all the way through. Even when you get tired and you feel like you can't get your hips up, keep going. You're getting a nice little upper body workout as well. Don't say I don't, don't say I don't treat y'all. Really keeping that controlled. You're doing so well, just a few more. When it starts to burn, you push through, well done. Doing really well. Squeezing those glutes, get the hips up and relax and we're nearly there coming on to the last exercise so we're gonna smash it and give it our all because it's the last one and um, we're gonna do the uh frog leg hip thrusts so coming onto your back ready and go let your knees fall apart nice and relaxed bringing those hips through really thrusting up towards the ceiling intentionally squeezing the glutes such such a good glutes exercise get that Get those glutes popping, core nice and tight, keeping that pelvic pelvic tilt locked in. I don't want an arch in your lower back. Arching your lower back does not build a booty. Keep that core tight, pushing up as though there's like resistance against it. 
doing really well. Keep relaxed in the knees, okay? I don't want them sneaking their way in together, okay? Let them stay nice and relaxed. And well done. Rest. You're free. You did it. You completed. Thick Thigh Workout Part 3. I'm super proud of you. Well done. Thank you so much for working out with me. Um, what I do is I just stretch it off at the end of a workout. So just rolling out my lower back um, and stretching the muscles that we've just worked. Uh, thank you so much for doing this video, guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know how you found it. Join me on Instagram. Uh, check out my blog for more recipes and health and fitness tips and yeah don't be a stranger okay be my internet friend because you guys are awesome and i like sharing life with you so yeah i'm gonna stop talking now okay thanks love you bye